What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to our Seattle Mariners franchise mode. And in the last one, we had to take on the Los Angeles Angels in the ALDS, in which we had to take it to game five. Very close games, uh, but we did take the lead uh, after... Oh, we took the lead, and that's all it took. Game one and two, very iffy for us. You know, game one... If we didn't score that one point, we would have gotten swept by the uh, by the Angels. Uh, probably would have been a 4-3 victory for the Angels game one if we didn't win that. Uh, but game two, we absolutely got smacked 9-4. Then game three, the Angels came out again swinging. We didn't even score a run, and they won 5 to nothing. But our team said, hey... After that performance like that, we cannot do that again. We need to have solid defense, and we need to play great offense. And game number four, we come on back to win it six to nothing. But going into the last game, I had to decide. Jamison Talley was too tired, and I didn't want to trust George. I didn't want to, not George Kirby. I didn't want to trust our other guy. So what I did is I, I trusted in the young gun, George Kirby, our fifth or fourth uh, pitcher in the rotation, I was like, hey, dude, go in here. You know, I'm only going to expect you to pitch two innings, maybe three, and we'll get you out of there. Uh, we'll put someone else in. But the guy went in, and he played phenomenal. George Kirby definitely got MVP uh, for round one, in my opinion. That's how I see it. Maybe Max Kemper for offense, and we'll go with George Kirby on defense. Uh, but now we're in a seven-game series against the big, bad uh, Boston Red Sox now. So we do get home field advantage for game one and two, but that could all be for naught because we got three games in Boston following that, then two more games. we got to win four of these, I believe, to move on move on by so I'll, hopefully we can get off to an early 2 nothing lead in the series and we can go from there uh, but I was looking for weaknesses in the Red Sox I have to say I, uh, their weakness I think is going to be their pitching just like with the Angels I think the pitching is going to be their struggle they got Lance McCuller Jr good player 29 91 overall he's got tons of he's, he's got quirks he's going to strike us out Guy's got a knuckle curve. Great. They also got the old man Chris Sale still pitching. 95 years old. Uh, 95 overall, not 95 years old. Uh, but 95 overall, 34 year old. This guy has taken the Red Sox to the World Series. He's won it with them. And he's looking to move, uh, the, to, to keep on winning with them. Hopefully winning another World Series. They won a couple years back. Maybe they're trying to make another run for it. Uh, but the remainder of their pitching... The remainder of their pitching core is pretty weak. I'm not going to lie. 81, 76, 79. Kind of looks like us when we were trying to, with our old systems in the years past before the new, new contract, we didn't want to go and get the best overall players. We wanted to get the best bang for our butt. So we got some low overall players uh, in the bullpen and we put most of it into hitting, which is exactly the same thing uh, that the Boston Red Sox did, uh, not to add, but did. Their batting rotation is nasty. Steve Hamilton leading off, followed by Raphael Devers, Xavier Bogarts, J.D. Martinez, Wilson Con uh, Contre Con Contreras, Contreras uh, and then Cody Hose. Uh, but on the bench, they also got Robert Perez, a catcher. Maybe they'll throw him in, but I'm guessing Wilson Ramos, he's probably not going to move at all. Maybe move Wilson Ramos out to left field and put Perez in. Not sure, but this is probably going to be the rotation that we're going to be seeing uh, all around. Very, very dangerous uh, two through five. Two through five, we got to be very careful, especially since uh, looking at their batting average, all of them have been hitting in this playoffs. Uh, but we've talked enough about uh, how things are going to go. I kept the lineups the same for the last time. And I kept the pitching rotation the same. Uh, so let's get into game number one of this series. All right, guys. Here we are. ALCS. This is the farthest we've made it in any season so far. So it's going to be very... Very interesting to see what we do. I'm really excited. I think our team has what it takes to go to the World Series and possibly win it. 
But in our way right now is the Red Sox before we can even think about going into the World Series. We have to beat them, and we have to beat them handily. All right, I don't want to waste all of our good luck and our, our hot bats in this series, but, uh, you know, if we can't, if we can't beat the Red Sox, we're not going to be going to the World Series. I'm just saying. So, I'd rather go to the World Series and just put up a decent fight than get my butt kicked by the Red Sox right now. If I lose in Game 7 to the Red Sox, I will still count this as a very successful season. <coughs> Pardon me. I'll still count it as a very successful season. Our team by far is, is, is the best team we've had. And I, I just don't know what I can really say about these boys. You know, Mookie Betts year one signing him I think was the centerpiece of what we wanted to do here. Uh, but next season, you know, it might be too soon to talk about next season, but we got a lot of prospects down in the minors right now that deserve to be playing in the MLB. They deserve to be playing in the, in the MLB, two of which are outfielders, one's a shortstop and one's a third baseman. So we are going to have a decision to make in the offseason if we want to ship some players out to make room for these hot prospects, or maybe we trade away these hot prospects uh, or top prospects in order to acquire uh, just one more missing piece, some big name superstar. Uh, but again, that's next season, and we're in right now, and we're going to be starting this game off with Steve Hamilton batting with Jamison Talon pitching for us. And here it is, pitch number one, taken and swung into foul territory, but no one's going to be able to get it except for the ball boy. Talion has not had a good postseason. I'm not, like, the guy pitches decent regular season. Postseason, I don't think he's been pitching that good. Game one, I'm pretty sure, the first time we played him in with the Los Angeles Angels, I'm pretty sure we pulled him one inning into the game. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened. I think Talion started walking batters and other people started just getting hits and we had to pull Talion, I think. That, if I recall that correctly. But here's Steve Hamilton. Oh, almost right. Almost fair. If that would have been fair, that probably would have been double, possibly triple for Steve Hamilton. But it does just barely go foul as this one is also hit foul behind the catcher. And there it is, Jamison Talon getting him to swing and miss right there for strikeout number one of the night. I really hope that Talon, that Talon just has like, I don't know, an MLB record setting game, maybe strikes out every batter and have a perfect inning as this one clobbered into right field. But Mookie Betts is under it, and nice easy grab for him for out number two. Oh, not bad, not bad. But I think we looked at the lineup, but let's just recap it. Steve Hamilton leaving off. Rafael Devers batting second. Xavier Bogarts, then J.D. Martinez, Wilson Catores, Cody Hose, Travis Shaw, Albert Alorman Jr. And then I did not get to read that last name. That's unfortunate. We'll figure it out once we, you know, we get to that batter. But here's Xavier Bogarts, also been a longtime Boston Bruins player. I think this guy might hit the open market. I do not think Xavier Bogarts will finish his career as a Boston Bruin. I don't think it'll happen as he takes strike number two right there. 2-0, uh, sorry, not 2-0, no. 0-2 oh is the count. As Talion's having a very good first inning compared to what I'm used to seeing out of our starting pitchers in the first inning. Usually we start off very slow, a little, little scary in the first inning. Uh, but the first inning's not over. It, it could it could change. They could have a two-out rally going right here. Uh, but it's very interesting to see what Talion will do here. We're used to seeing in the first inning our pitchers uh, letting up at least one guy uh, onto the base. Possibly to maybe even allowing them to score one run in the first. That's usually what I'm used to seeing out of our starting pitching rotation. Uh, but right now, it looks pretty good. Past two pitches, though, Talon has just wild pitches. 
just completely wild pitches, fast two pitches. Uh, but that one's going to be fouled for Xavier Bogarts. Pitch number 13 for James Italian now. And there it is, strikeout number two. For, oh my God, this could be great. This could be great. These Mariners fans are going crazy. Look at those towels waving. Ooh, that's a nice hat over there on the far far right, blue hat. Looks pretty nice, that logo. Not gonna lie, but here we are now getting a chance to bat as Lance McCollin Jr. is going to be coming in. He's pitched seven innings, didn't let up a single, oh, no, he let up four hits. My bad, three walks, five strikeouts over seven innings, zero ERA, and he did not get the win for that game. So I... I could be looking too far into this, but it looks like Lance McCuller kept the the Red Sox in the game. They pulled him, and then they started to lose. And they came back. They must have came back and won, and the, the reliever must have got it. But Luis Garcia, 22 home runs this past season in 125 regular season games. This guy, I'm so happy we got him. I'm not going to lie. This guy's not batting the greatest in the playoffs right now. But some of these players, I'm telling you right now, I'm, I'm not even going to talk about the story right now. I'm just going to talk about franchise mode for the second. Doing a franchise mode, like, and going through different teams, noticing different positions that are needed, and seeing different players becoming superstars that you have never heard of before, or, like, they, they're out of their league and they're... You know, no one's looking at him. Like Mark Canna, for example. Mark Canna was a 34-year-old, 74 overall. Uh, I think it was first baseman. Or first baseman, outfielder. Guy played everywhere. Guy was a utilities player, but he's 34. I would usually never trade for Mark Canna. <coughs> but, but, man, a 34-year-old guy came in, hit 30-something home runs with us, and was batting every season above uh, 250, possibly above 275. I think he was batting around 300 most of the time. Like, that guy, Mark Canna is a perfect example of what you, you, of creating a story around and seeing your team just developing and developing emotional attachment to some of these plays. I didn't like that I had to send Mark Canna down this season. I really didn't. But with this, with the stacked amount of talent we have in Seattle, I had no choice but to do it. I literally had no choice but to send Mark Canna down. Uh, but this next season, I'm hoping he retires so that way we don't have to deal with him on another team. Uh, but this next season, I think, will be his last season with us. Uh, I'll probably be releasing him following this uh, playoffs allow him to go and look and test the market see what's going on around the league maybe he finds a team that wants him who knows but if he does drop to just a minor league deal and he just wants to play in the minors I will gladly sign him again and keep him out in the minors keep him. I, I will it, it will be my pleasure to do that uh, but let's get back to the game Jesse Winker is up uh, one two's the count. Now two two. Jesse Winker, another guy we traded for. Uh, late. I think we we actually were offered Jesse Winker. I think we were offered both Luis Garcia and Jesse Winker uh, for our team, and both of which have turned into stars as he hits it in the opposite side of the shift. Unfortunately, it was just hit a little too close to that third baseman. Uh, taking a look at Seattle's starting lineup, we're going to have Luis Garcia starting off, followed by Jesse Winker, Mookie Betts, Max Kempler, Adam Frazier, George Alfaro, David Boot, uh, Bott, Jake Bowers, and then George Matro, or Mato, Matt, Matt, I don't know, I don't know, I'm running, I, I'm, I'm running out of things to say here, man, I really am, alright, I don't remember all of our players, Mookie Betts, though, you need a hit, man. I know you get on base still, but you need to hit. Come on, Betts. Nope, like, just look. A first, he's probably going to get walked here. 
All right, I'm going to I'm going to predict right now Mookie Betts is going to get walked right here. But this guy he he doesn't hit that well in the postseason. Two ones to count now, but he hasn't been hitting too well. He's batting 188. Anybody else, and I would have taken him out of the lineup. But it's Mookie Betts, our star player, in which we paid an absolute fortune for. But later in his career, we will also have a steal the century with how much this guy's making. He's still going to be making buku butts, but we're going to be saving a lot of money uh, compared to if we just paid him a flat rate. I really like, oh, this one's going back, back, and it's gone, Mookie Betts. Like I said, I thought he was going to get walked. This guy was due. He hasn't been hitting well against his a former team that he played on, and Mookie Betts just hits a solo bomb into left field, 359 feet. Oh, Betts, my man. Oh, let's take a closer look at this one. It's just got too much of the plate right down the middle, I think. And Betts just gets right a hold of it and bombs it 359 feet into left field. 95.7 miles per hour was the exit philosophy. Not the fastest. I was actually really scared it was going to die out with a warning track. But it's nice to see Mookie Betts might have a good, uh, a good run against Boston. At that is, you know, it, it's promising. It makes me happy to see that my team is hitting right now. Well, one of my batters is hitting. But now's up is Max Kempler. And this guy right now, according to postseason stats, is leading the league in home runs with three. So, in five games, Max Kempler has three home runs. He's batting 333 right now. This guy's having a very good postseason. Honestly, this guy right now is on pace to get the MVP trophy if we win. Uh, if we win this series and win the World Series. I'm not going to lie. It will probably go to Max Kempler. Here we are. Three ones that count. And swung and missed there. Guy was trying to just bomb it right there. I could tell. I could tell. He really wanted to get a hold of that. But he was just a little miss, a little off his swing, and there it is again. Just a little off the swing, and he goes down swinging. But let's take a look again. Mariners are up one to nothing on the Red Sox after one inning, thanks to a Mookie Betts home run. Ooh, that's sexy. That's a sexy home run. As for usual, what we're going to do after the first inning, we're going to start, you know, quick managing. We're going to also quick manage the rest of the games. I don't want to sit here and watch. Uh, I don't think you guys nor me want to sit here for an hour and a half of nine innings of baseball just talking about the game and what's going on. I don't think that will be entertaining. So this, this is why I do this format. I go in, watch the first inning, so that way we can get a closer look at our players, and then we go in and we, we quick manage. Uh, but here we are, JT Martinez, batter number four is up, and we're just going to pitch. Talion's been been doing pretty good so far, so we're just going to keep on pitching. Ground out for Martinez, now is up Wilson Cortez. Strikeout for him, Cody Hose grounds out there. All right, Adam Frazier up for us, swings and a ground out. George Alfaro strikes out. David Bott is going to get on base with a single. David Bott's been having a very good uh, postseason and regular season. Guy is very underrated. If you guys are doing a franchise mode, get Bott, David Bott from uh, from the Blue Jays. Get him. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Jake Bauer is now up, and he's going to get walked. Guy on first and second with George Mateo uh, up to bat, batting 231 right now. Could bring in. The second run of the day as he strikes out, unfortunately, leaving batters in scoring position. Now, let's see. Travis Shaw, the first baseman's up. Ooh, hits a double. All right. Albert Amora, ground out. Travis Blackhorn walks. Bring up Steve Hamilton, who's going to hit into a double play as now Luis Garcia is up for us. Who he's going to strike out. Jesse Winker grounds out. And Mookie Betts hit a home run earlier today. Hits a second one. And there it is. Mookie Betts' second home run of the day. 
And in three innings, three innings, he's the only one who is scored a run for us. But bets, two for two, two home runs. My God, Max Kempler now is just going to hit a fly out. All right, Rafael Devers grounds out. Xavier Bogart strike out, and GT Martinez flies out. Adam Frazier up to bat, flies out there. George Alfaro strikes out, and David Bott strikes out as well. Wilson Cateras hits a single. Cody Ho strikes out. Travis Shaw strikes out, and Albert Amora Jr. flies out, leaving a man at first base for Boston. I don't like a two-run lead. I would like a four-run lead if possible. Jake Bowers is going to get walked for the second time in a row. George uh, Mateo now gets walked as well, minging a guy into first and second. Luis Garcia is up, and there's going to be a pitching change after those two walks, bringing in Brian Sammons. 76 overall pitcher. He's a lefty, but uh, lucky for us, Luis Garcia actually bats even better against lefties, as he is also going to get walked Bases loaded now for Jesse Winker. Woo! Bases loaded. Three walks in a row. Jesse Winker, how do you do? 72 against lefties. I mean, that's still pretty good. But let's uh, let's see. He's going to hit a single, scoring two runs. So Bowers and Mateo is going to score there. Bring up Mookie Three. Betts, who strikes out. Max Kemper is going to hit into a double play, ending the inning. Not, not before we extend our lead to a 4 to nothing lead. Travis Blackhorn hits a single. Hamilton also hits a single, and now we're going to get a pitching change coming in. Uh, I would bring in Carl Edwards, but he deserves a rest. We're going to bring in Emmanuel Clace. All right, so Steve Hamilton stole to over to second. That's fine. Devers strikes out. Bogart strikes out, and JT Martinez flies out, leaving player, uh, batters on third and second in scoring position. Keeping our shutout streak alive at the moment. Adam Frazier now is going to hit a line out. George Alfaro strikes out and David Bott gets walked. And then Bowers just hits into a fielder's choice. Manuel Clace, Contreras, strike out. Cody Hose, strike out. And Travis Shaw hits a single. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Almora hits into a fielder's choice there. We're going to pull him next inning. Uh, but let's keep on going. George Mateo, ground out. Luis Garcia, Garcia, fly out. Jesse Winker, line out. Let's get a pitching change going. And let's bring in... Hmm, let's bring in Bowman. Matt Bowman. Let's see what you can do, buddy. Ground out for Blackhorn. Hamilton hits a single. All right. Fly out for Devers. And Bogart's also going to fly out. And now Brian Sammons is in. As Mookie ba uh, Brian Salmon's still in, my bad. Mookie Betts gets walked over to first. Three. Kemper strikes out. Adam Frazier flies out. And George Alfaro reaches first on an error, bringing up David Bott. Uh, pitching change, though, for Paul Fry. 76 overall. Guy, he's got one, not one win. 1.69 ERA, five strikeouts. Not too bad. Another lefty, though, Three. as David Bott is going to get struck out. We're going to make another pitching change, and this time we're going to bring in uh, Cameron Molina, trying to get this guy as much experience as he can. This young 20-year-old uh, player, I think, is going to be a great closing pitcher of the future. So he's going to strike out Martinez, walk Gutierrez, and then Hose is just going to hit into a double play as we defeat the Re Boston Red Sox 4 to nothing in game number one. That's what I'm talking about, boys. That's the performance we need out of us, all right? Their bats were cold, and we need to take advantage of it. I said we needed I didn't like a two-run lead. Our team got us a four-run lead. That's a safe lead. I think a four-run lead is, is a pretty good lead to hold on to, and you don't have to worry about anything. But Mookie Betts definitely deserves player of the game. Possibly, possibly James Italian as well. But Mookie Betts... Two home runs on the day. Guy was an absolute monster. I th and looking at what's happening here, I think they are pulling Buki Betts to the side to give him the player of the game honors. But I said this guy needs to get a hotter bat. He needs to start hitting. And the guy came in and did it with two home runs. As now his teammates come in, give him a little bit of a joking push there. 
But good job, Mookie Betts. Let's get on into game number two. Let's play ball. All right, guys. So coming into game number two, we're going to bring in Michael Baird. I know his ERA is super high. He had a very bad game, but I'm giving him one more chance. One more chance. I got seven games to work with with five pitchers. If Michael Baird does not perform here, I'm going to pull him for the remainder of the playoffs, and he will sit on the bench. I was very close to putting in our other uh, the pitcher. What's his name? I don't know. All right, guys, so here we are, game number two, as now we have Michael Baird pitching for us. I know he didn't have a great start to the playoffs. Hopefully, he can pull it together, though. 3.2 innings pitch, 17.18 ERA. I mean, this guy's kind of on the chopping block right now for me if he doesn't get his crap together, especially after having a 4.92 ERA season. He's lucky. And a 13-11 win-loss record, but those losses definitely should have been lower. Uh, and definitely should not have allowed 109 runs, that is for sure. Especially coming off, even pitching even less innings than he did the year prior. Uh, but let's get into it. Steve Hamilton's going to start things off for us as he hits into a ground out. Rafael Devers is going to fly out, and Xavier Bogarts is going to ground out. Luis Garcia ground out. Winker walks there. As now Mookie Betts is up for Marcus Walden. Oh yeah, Marcus Walden's going to be pitching today. 34-year-old, 81 overall starting pitcher. We should try to take full advantage of him. 13-7 and seven was his record, but his ERA of a 5.19. I think we, we are going to have a hitting duel uh, between Boston and Seattle today. Mookie Betts is also going to reach on a walk. So that's two walks and three batters. Now bring up Max Kemper, the power hitter, who's also going to get walked there. Very interesting. Three walks in a row for Marcus Walden. As that brings up Adam Frazier, who's going to hit a sack fly, scoring Jesse Winker. George Alfaro now gets walked again. Four walks. In five batters. I would be losing my shit as the Boston manager. I would. I've done it before. Uh, I did it for Talon. I will do it again. David Bott now up. Who's going to hit into a flyout. Leaving the bases loaded. And a great opportunity for Seattle to take a huge lead. Unfortunately will not arise. As now JT Martinez is going to reach first on an error. Wilson Contreras is going to strike out. Cody Hose is going to strike out, and Travis Shaw is going to ground out. Jake Bowers now up for us as he's going to ground out. George Mateo is going to reach on a single. We're going to try to steal over to second, and we do indeed reach over there. Luis Garcia now hits into a ground out, and Jesse Winker grounds out as well. Albert Omora Jr. hits a double just like he did last game. Bring up Travis Blackhorn who strikes out. Steve Hamilton pops out and Raphael Devers strikes out. Bring up Mo All right, Mookie Betts. Let's hit a home run, buddy. Home run. Ready? I'm going Ready? Right here. Home run. All right. I'll take a double. Double's cool too. I'm okay with a double. Uh, Max Kemper now up. He's going to hit into a ground out. Adam Frazier strikes out. And George Alfaro is going to strike out as well. Xavier Bogarts up for Boston. Hits a ground out. Martina strikes out. And Cortez hits a single. All right, so that's Cortez's first hit of the day. Bring up Cody Hose, who's going to fly out there. David Bott is going to reach first on a walk. Now bring up Jake Bowers, who hits a double. There it is. So Bowers on second, Bo on third. Bring up George Mateo, who's going to hit into a double play. Dang. Bot tried to score, tried to get home. Unfortunately, did not happen as they were able to get the guy at the plate and get Mateo out at first. Luis Garcia up, hits a double scoring Jake Bowers from third, giving the Seattle Mariners a two to nothing lead. Jesse Winker is going to wa get walked here, bringing up Mookie Betts, who's going to hit a double, which is now giving Seattle a four to nothing lead. And there it is, finally decide to get a pitching change as now Daniel McGrath, 71 overall starting pitcher. It's probably their long reliever coming in 
as we should try to take full advantage of him uh, in the coming innings. Kemper is now going to reach on a walk, bring up Adam Frazier, who's going to, woo, going to reach on first, but Mookie Betts gets thrown out at the plate. Travis Shaw, uh, strike out. Albert Amora Jr. hits a fly out, and Travis Blackhorn flies out as well. George Alfaro hits a double off McGrath. Bring up Bot, who is going to hit a single scoring George Alfaro from second base, giving us a 5-0 lead. Jake Bowers strikes Three. out. Mateo strikes out, and Luis Garcia pops out. Steve Hamilton coming up, reaches off a walk. Rafael Devers also gets walked. Xavier Bogart strikes out. JT Martinez gets reaches first, but... Devers gets thrown out over at second. Bring up Wilson Katuras. I think we're going to stick with Baird here, who he's going to hit into a flyout. Jesse Winker now up to bat. Hasn't got on the bag yet, uh, but he's not going to get on again as now he is, hits into a pop out. Mookie bets up, reaches off a walk. Max Kemper strikes out, and Adam Frazier throws out the hits. And again, Mookie Betts gets thrown out at the plate. Hell's wrong with you guys. Like, come on. Come on. Uh, Hose flies out there for Michael Baird. We're still sticking with him. Travis Shaw reaches on a walk as he. All right. So Amora reaches first, but Shaw gets out at second. And now Blackhorns get struck out. Oh, good. Good. Our team's playing pretty good right now. George Alfaro hits a single. As David Bott flies out, Bauer strikes out, and George Mateo hits a single, bringing over Alfaro over to third. We're now going to try to steal second. Oh, but not before they make a pitching change for Paul Fry. We had to deal with him last time, and we're still going to try to steal second, trying to make sure that we don't get into a forced play here for Luis Garcia, as he's just going to hit into a pop out anyways. Steve Hamilton up here. He reaches on a walk. Devers also reaches on a walk. And we're, I think it's time. Yeah, it's probably time now that we do uh, take out him. As we're going to bring in Sam Tuvalialala for us. Xavier Bogart. Oh, and he's going to start off with a walk. Bogart gets walked. Bases loaded off of walks. JT Martinez hits a single, scoring two runs there. Wilson Couture hit, hits into a fielder's choice. As now Hose coming in gets walked. Travis Shaw also gets walked as we're going to make another pitching change for Justin Sheffield. And they're going to, okay, Justin Sheffield coming on in as, all right, Amora reaches on an error. And Blackhorn hits a single, giving Boston the lead six to nothing. As, all right, so let's let's take a look before we go any further because Hamilton got out last time anyways. So Devers and Bogart got walked. That's okay. That's okay. Martinez hits a single scoring a run. That's fine, too. Fielder's choice for Katoras. That's cool. We bring in a pitcher who then walks two guys. And we'd be out of this inning right now if Amora didn't reach off of an error. So we are going to lose this one possibly off of an error. Oh, God. Strikeout for Winker. Mookie Betts hits into a ground out. And Max Kemper... Ooh, the pitching change for Matt Straham, 85 overall relief pitcher, as he's going to hit a ground out. So we're just going to keep on pitching. Bogarts hits a solo home run. Martinez, strikeout. Cortez hits a single. Walk for Dean. Fly out for Shaw. And now Amora is going to hit a fly out, too. We need two runs here, boys. Two runs. As now they're going to bring in Josh Taylor, 86 overall relief pitcher. I heard their closer. Come on, Frazier. Single for Frazier. There we go. Now, George Alfaro, if you could do me a favor, hit a home run here. Hit a home run, Alfaro. Fly out for him. Okay. Three. David Bott strikes out. Bring up Jake Bowers, who hits a two-run home run. There it is. Jake Bowers ties the game up with a two-run home run. That's what I'm talking about. George Mateo going to hand to a ground up, but that's just... Fine, boys. They thrown their reliever at us, their setup guy, and their closer at us already. They're going to have to go back with some worse pitching coming into these later innings. As we are going to hope that we end it right here in the tenth, as we're going to throw in Aaron Bummer. As Blackhorn flies out, Hamilton strikes out, and Devers flies out there. Luis Garcia coming up to bat. He is one for five on the day. 
He does bat better against lefties, so we're going to keep him in as... No, they're going to take out the pitcher for Darwin Hernandez. 78 overall, B potential. All right. Guy excels at Ks. Oh, my God. 99K. Yikes. As Garcia is going to ground out there. Jesse Winker ground out, and Mookie oh, Betts is going to reach off a walk, bring on Max Kemper, who could end it right here, but no. Gitch struck out. Xavier Bogarts reaches off a single. JT, oh, he's going to steal over to second. JT Martinez gets walked. We're going to get a pitching change. I can't, can't do it, can't do it. Cameron Molina, let's put him in as Coriolis is going to line out. Justin Dean coming up. He's going to fly out and Travis Shaw, damn it. Damn it. He gets, all right, so we threw out the guy. But unfortunately for us, they scored a run before it. So I'm going to guess that the guy tried to round first over to second. So Bogart scored, but the guy tried to round over to second. And because it was the runner's fault, uh, they didn't do it. But can we come into clutch? Come on, Adam Frazier, ground out. George Alfaro, strikeout. David Bott hits a double. There it is, Jake Bowers. Let's go, and he gets out. All right, so we lose to the Red Sox, 8-7. to seven. I said this is probably going to be a hitting duel. It was If it wasn't for that eighth inning, if it wasn't for that eighth inning, we would have been golden. We would have been golden if it was not for that eighth freaking inning. Six runs in one inning. Oh, my God. Our team blew it. Blew it that game. Let's get into game number three. I, this game better be better. We never, ever better blow a fucking five-run lead right ever again. Ever again, boys. All right, guys. So here we are in game number three. Uh, we got Christian Posh now in the lineup. And we took out Luis Garcia. Uh, Luis Garcia is not batting well right now. So I'm going to give him a little break. Hopefully this break uh, kind of rejuvenates his batting stance. I told him during this game, I just want you in the batting cage practicing hitting. All right. I just need you to get hits, get on base. You were one for six. Uh, hopefully we have a better performance here. Uh, but as Christian Pash now, I think, not making his debut with us, uh, but definitely having his first playoff experience, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, I think he's having his first playoff kind of experience, and he's going to start it off for us, too. So a lot of nerves uh, with Christian Pash right now. So we got one young gun for us versus a young pitcher for them. Let's see who's going to win. Christian Pash is going to start off with a single. Let's see if he can steal over, and he does! Christian Pash is hype. I can already tell. Christian Pash is hype. George Alfaro is going to fly out, but Pash is going to re go over to third, bringing up Max Kepler, who's going to hit a sack fly, scoring Posh, giving us a 1-0 lead in the first. Mookie Bats Three. now up, who's going to get struck out. We have Marco Gonzalez pitching for us here. This guy, by far, is our best pitcher, I believe. Not overall-wise, but I think... Uh, stat, Stats-wise, according to stats, he is our best pitcher all around. Uh, Steve Hamilton is going to start things off for them. He hits into a ground out. Raphael Devers hits into a ground out, and Xavier Bogarts flies out. David Bott, for us, is going to hit a single. As Sam Haggerty now up to bat. Hits a double as Bott tried to go home but gets thrown out. Jesse Winker now up. He's going to hit a fly out, bring up Jake Bowers hit a home run last one, uh, last game. Very clutch of him. This guy's a very good clutch guy, I think. Uh, but anyways, he, he hits into a ground out. JT Martinez hits a single. Wilson Catorres flies out. Cody Hose hits a single. All right, so guy on first and second. Three. Albert Mer uh, Albert Amora Jr. strikes out. And Roman uh, Ra Raymond Urias now up, and he gets struck out as well. Adam Frazier is going to reach first off of a walk, bring up Christian Pash, who's going to pop out. George Alfaro Three. now strike out. Max Three. Kemper struck out as well. Three. Travis Shaw struck out. Steve Hamilton hits a single. Eee, come on, guys. Come on. Let's see. Pick off first. Safe. Try to pick off first again. Nope. All right. Keep them fair, though. Keep them. 
And pick off first. Nope, safe. All right. Xavier Bogart's up, and he hits into a ground out. All right. Mookie bets up for us. Fly out for him. David Bott struck out, and Sam Haggerty is going to be struck out as well. JT Martinez hits a triple. Yikes. Hit a triple there. That's... It's not what I like to see is Wilson Carteris grounds out. Cody Ho strikes out and Albert Amora Jr. walks. All right. So, guy, all right. We got to This is actually a pretty good opportunity. If Uris hits a ground out, you know, feeler's choice, first or second. Or maybe he reaches, but it would keep JT Martinez over there at third. Come on. We got to do this. As he hits a double scoring Martinez instead. As Travis Shaw's now up as he hits a pop-out tied game 1-1. One, one. Jesse Winker up, hits a ground out. Jake Three. Bowers strikes out, and Adam Frazier grounds out. Steve Hamilton fly out. Rafael Devers grounds out, and Xavier Bogarts reaches all a walk. Three. JT Martinez, though, gets struck out. Now into the top of the six as both starting pitchers are still in, having one out of a pitching duel right now as Christian Posh is up. As he hits a single, steal second, just like we did before. George Alfaro strikes out. Max Kemper hits a single scoring Christian Posh, giving us a lead, a one-run lead. Now 2-1 is the score. Mookie Betts hits a single. Now guy on first and second, David Bott. Now hits a double scoring both Kepper, uh, Kepler and Betts there. 4-1 is the score now. As now they're going to take out the pitcher, uh, their pitcher for Mahisihiro Tanaka. C potential, 76 over, 34 uh, years old starting pitcher. Okay. All right. I see you. I see you. Sam Haggerty uh, grounds out there. And Jesse oh, Winker boy, is going to reach off of a walk. Oh, Jake oh, Bowers also me. reaches off a walk. Bring up Adam Frazier who flies out. All right. We're just going to give him one batter. See how he does. Ground out for Cortores. All right. Cody Hose hits a single. All right. Uh, Lamora Jr., fielder choice. Okay. Ramon Urrerez grounds out. Good. Good. All right. Christian Posh now. He's been having a pretty good game. As we're just going to go 1 2 3 with ground outs. Travis Shaw hits a single. I think that's where we're going to call it a day for Gonzalez. Bring in Emmanuel Class for us now. As Hamilton's going to fly out and Rafael Devers is going to hit into a double play. Tanaka is still in as Mookie Betts hits a solo home run. Giving us a four-run lead. 5-1 is the Take score. David Bott reaches off of a walk. Sam Haggerty reaches first off of a fielder's choice. But he's going to steal second and gets caught, unfortunately. As Jesse Winker hits a fly out. Xavier Bogart's now up. Hits a single. Three. Strikeout for Martinez. Contoras hits a two-run home run, shortening the lead to a two-run lead. 5-3 is the score. Hose hits a ground out, and Albert Amora Jr.'s grounds out as well. Jake Bowers up at the top of the ninth, and as he hits into a ground out. Adam Frazier hits into a ground out, and Christian Posh. No, they're going to take out Tanaka for Paul Fry Three. as he gets struck out. But now... We need to get our closer in there. Aaron Bummer. Get in here, buddy. Urez hits a single. No, but he gets caught stealing. There it is, boys. Travis Shaw hits a ground out, and Steve Hamilton hits a single. Okay. Pick off first. And then we're... Ooh, we threw out the runner at home. So the guy did wind up getting a hit off of Bummer. But we were able to get the guy at home before he could score a run as the Mariners have to feed the Red Sox. 5-2-3. I don't believe Marco Gonzalez should have player of the game. I think player of the game should be Christian Posh after having a fantastic little debut uh, in the playoff. Play All right, so coming into game number four, we're going with the exact same lineup. Luis Garcia is still not in. We're going with a hot bat, Christian Posh, having a very good uh, little performance here in the playoffs. Uh, so it, it should be fun to see how things progress but I thought we'd be going up against Chris Sale here but no we're going to be going up against Matthew Boyd 79 overall 32 year old starting pitcher all right not bad let's see what Christian let's see if Christian Posh can start off like he did the past game as he's going to no he's going to ground out instead as now George Alfaro's up 
as he's going to hit the single. Bring up Max Kemper, who's going to fly out. Mookie Betts hit three home runs so far off of Boston pitchers. All right. He's averaging a home run a game right now. If he hits a home run this game, it will guarantee be a home run a game. It's now Steve Hamilton's coming in as we decide to go with Russell Lincoln. This guy hasn't had a chance to prove himself in the playoffs. Uh, I mean, he's gotten better every single uh, every single season. He's gotten better with us. And this guy deserves uh, a chance at least to try his hand in the playoffs. And I think today might be the day. Three. Steve Hamilton is going to start us off by getting struck out. Three. Raphael DeVert is going to get struck out. And Xavier Bogart's going to get walked. See if we can pick him off. No. And instead, we're going to pitch it and strike him out. Three strikeouts for Russell Lincoln there. All right, David Three. Bott up is going to get struck out. Sam Haggerty flies out, and Jesse Winker is going to ground out. Uh, Wilson Catorres is going to hit a single there as Hose. Oh, he's going to steal. I was not expecting him to steal with 59 speed and 18 steal. Good job for him. Hose now also going to hit a single, but Catorres not fast enough and gets thrown out at the plate. Cody Hose, though, gets his first hit, I think, even against us. Travis Shaw up, hits a fly out. Alberto Amora Jr. is going to get flown out as well. Three. Jake Bowers gets struck out. Adam Frazier flies out, and Christian Posh flies out. Three. Travis Blackhorn struck out. Steve Hamilton hits a double. Try to pick off second. He's safe. Raphael Devers sack bunt, bringing Sam Hamilton over to third. Try to pick him off. No, he's safe again as Bogarts hits into a flyout. All right. George Alfaro hits a single there. I'm not even going to try to steal. Max Kemper hits a two-run home run. That's why we don't steal because if he was – if freaking Alfaro got thrown out there, we wouldn't be up by two runs right now. There it is, Max Kemper. Mookie Betts now going to fly out after giving us – not, not, he didn't give us, but uh, after we acquired a two-run lead, Mookie Betts flies out, bring up David Baugh, who's grounds out, and Sam Haggerty grounds out as well. J.D. Martinez hits a single. Wilson Katora is now struck out. Cody Hose caught. Oh, J.D. Martinez got caught stealing, and Cody Hose hits a single, two for two for him, but Travis Shaw, no match for Lincoln as he gets struck out. Jesse Winker up, hits a double. Woo, there it is. Jake Bowers up, ground out. Adam Frazier struck out, and Christian Posh is flown out. Mora Jr. hits into a ground out. Blackhorn pops out, and Sam Hamilton pops out as well. George Alfaro hits a single, similar to how we did when we hit that two-run home run. Max Kemper, no, he's going to reach first. But George Alfaro is going to get thrown out at second. Mookie Betts now up. Also reaches first as Kemper gets thrown out over at second. David Bott. All right. So we got three fielder's choices in a row. Cool. So that basically means we hit three ground balls. Cool, cool, cool. Rafael Devers now ground out. Xavier Bogarts pop out. And JT Martinez flies out. Sam Haggerty. No. We get a pitching chain for Paul Fry. This guy has been in. Every single game. Let me tell you, this guy's literally been in every game as far as I can remember. Sam Haggerty Three. in. So he gets struck out. Jesse Winker hits a solo bomb, giving us a 3 nothing lead now. And bringing up Jake oh, Bowers, oh, who gets right. walked over to first. Bringing up Adam Frazier, who hits a single. Guy on first and second for Christian Posh. As they're going to make a pitching change for Brian Salmon, 76 overall. Uh, relief pitcher possibly could do some work 4.26 ERA Christian Posh flies out but Jake Bauer able to reach over to third Adam Frazier still at first George Alfaro rounds out though Russell Lincoln we're still going to pitch with you ground out for him Cody Hose struck out and Travis Shaw hits a single bring up Albert Omora Jr. who gets into a ground out Brian Sammons now uh, nope, that's the pitcher. That's the pitcher. My bad. Max Kemper still up. Hits a double. Good, good. Mookie Betts grounds out. Three. David Bott struck out. And Sam Haggerty grounds out there. And I think we're going to call it a day with Russell Lincoln. So we're going to give the nod to Cameron Molina. Ah! First batter hits a home run off of him. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We're not even going to We're not even gonna do this. Uh, substitution. What? All right, I have to. I can't change the pitcher. Okay. Raphael Devers. All right. Devers hits into a double play there. 
and strike out for him. All right, top of the nine. Last chance to get some extra runs in as Jesse Winkers up. Hit a home run earlier. Pops out there. Jake Bauer reaches first off of an air. Bring up Adam Frazier, who hits into a double play. So we're now going to change in for Aaron Bummer. As Martinez hits a single. Cortez hits him into a double play. And Hose gets struck out to give the Mariners the 3-1 to one win. There it is, boys. We are now up 3-0 in this series. Going into game number 5 against these Boston Bruins, which could be our last game in the ALCS. Hopefully it is, but you never know how things are going to work out. All right, guys, here we are, game number five. And again, we make some minor changes in the lineup. Christian Posh hasn't been performing after that great game with us. Uh, so we took him out. George Mateo now is going to get the nod as our leadoff guy. Uh, and we also brought in Tim Lopez over there at second base and moved Mookie Betts over to left field. Uh, not too bad all around, all considering Luis Garcia is still on the bench. But with this new lineup, see how things go up against their definitely their like star star pitcher Chris Sale. As Mateo is going to start things off with a ground out. George Alfaro hits a double there. There it is. Three. Max Kemper gets struck out Three. and Beth gets struck out. We decide to go with the young gun George Kirby, 25 year old, 82 overall starting pitcher. The guy had a pretty good. Uh, clutch game against the Los Angeles Angels, and we have no need to pitch our ace against their ace right now. Uh, so we're going to go with George Kirby here. Hopefully he can get us the win. Uh, Steve Hamilton flies out. Rafael Devers struck out, and Xavier Bogart hits a single. Pick off first, safe, and fly out for Cortez. David Bott now up, hits a single. Jesse Winker hits a sack bunt. But then brings David Boat over to second. Tim Lopez, first time up, gets walked. Bring up Jake Bowers, who hits a single, scoring one run and getting the other run out. So Lopez got thrown out, but luckily David Bott was able to score, giving us a 1-0 lead. Adam Frazier pops out there. Wilson Catorres flies out. Cody Hose, ground out, and Travis Shaw hits a single. Okay, all right. Well, he's not going to steal, so... All right, so he stole. He stole. He did exactly what I said he wasn't going to do. Uh, but luckily, he just gets next batter. Hits into a pop out. Uh, George Mateo Three. back up. Gets struck out. George Alfaro flies out. And Max Three. Kemper struck out as well. Travis Blackhorn ground out. Steve Hamilton pop Three. out. And Diverge struck out. Betts ground out. Boat hits, into a, hits a single. Three. Jesse Winker strikes out. And Tim Lopez hits a single. There it is. The young guy, Tim Lopez. Trying to earn his spot into the lineup. Jake Three. Bowers, though, gets struck out, leaving a guy on first and second. Xavier Three. Bogart's up, gets struck out. J.D. Martinez hits a solo home run, tying the game 1-1. One to -one. Bring in Wilson Catorres, who flies out. Cody Three. Hose now, strike out. Adam Frazier hits a ground out. Three. George Mateo, strike out. Okay. And George Alfaro gets hit by the pitch. Bring up Max Kemper, who grounds out. Travis Shaw up, gets walked. And then Almora Jr. hits into a fielder's choice, getting Travis Shaw up, and uh, Almora reaches first. Ah, he steals over to second. Travis Blackman hits a two-run home run, giving Boston a 3-1 to one lead now as Sam Hamilton flies out, and Avers hits a solo home run. 4-1 is the lead for Boston. Mookie Betts hits a ground out. David Baugh hits a ground out. And Winker hits a ground out. Three ground outs in a row. Cool. Three. Strikeout for Martinez. Cortez hits a ground out and Hose pops out. Tim Lopez hits a single there. That's what I like to see. Uh, Jay, all right. Bowers pops out. Adam Frazier hits a single. All right. So a single home run here could tie it up. Mateo Three. strikes out. George Alfaro. No. They're going to change pitchers for Masahiro Tanaka. All right, we've seen him before. Come on, Alfaro, fly out. All right, uh, okay. Pitching change now. We're going to put in Justin Sheffield as Travis Shaw hits a single, but it gets picked off. Amora Jr. flies out. Blackman gets walked. Not going to deal with it. 
but I keep the man honest as Hamilton Great. hits a single, but we are able to strike out the other guy. Top of the eighth now, Max Kemper, ground out. Mookie Betts, ground out, and David Botts comes up to the bait, but not before Josh Taylor comes in. 86 overall relief pitcher as David Bott hits a solo home run off of him, cut, make, cutting the lead in half. Now only a two-run lead. Jesse Three. Winker, no, gets struck out. Xavier Bogart's up. All right, he hits a single. Pick off, he's safe. J.D. Martinez also hits a single. Come on, Sheffield. Cortez hits a double. All right. Yeah, we're just, 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 just simulate. I don't even care. We lose to Chris Sale, boys. Oh, no. We lost to Boston with Chris Sale at the helm. Whatever shall we do? Ha! I do not know. Maybe we should get up to the next game where we get Jamison Talion coming back up against Lance McCullough Jr. Okay, let's do this. And I, I am going to go back, I think, to that posh lineup for this one. Uh, our team was doing really good with it, so I think I might want to stick with that posh lineup. Yeah. But let's get into it. Let's play ball. All right, so I know I said I was going to go with the posh lineup. That was a lie. I do, I'm not going with the posh lineup. And I also didn't pitch with Jameson Talion because I want him to be there for the clutch game. I want Talion in for that clutch game if necessary. So we're going to pitch with Michael Baird. He pitched pretty good against Boston. Uh, we probably would have won that game if it wasn't for our relief pitching, giving up six runs in the eighth inning. Uh, but let's get into it. Steve Hamilton leading off. All right, so we're going to start off with a walk. So we're going to try to pick off Steve Hamilton and now pitch. Furs gets struck out. Pitch off. Nope. All right, Xavier Bogart strikes out, and J.D. Martinez gets struck out as well. George Mateo, fly out. Jesse Winker hits a single now. Bring up Mookie Betts, who also hits a single. Guy on first and second for Max Kepler, who flies out but brings Jesse Winker over to third. Adam Frazier, though, is going to hit into a ground out, unfortunately. Wilson Catorres now up to bat as he's going to fly out. Cody Hose grounds out and Travis Shaw grounds out. George Alfaro hits a single. Three. David Bott gets struck out. Jake Bowers hits a single. Guy on first and second. This seems awfully familiar. Tim Lopez hits a single, but Alfaro, ah, Alfaro gets thrown out at the plate. George Mateo now gets struck out. Amora Jr. fly out. Travis Blackman fly out. And Steve Three. Hamilton struck out. Jesse Winker fly out. Mookie Betts gets walked. Okay. Okay, so walk for bets. Should we steal? Do we steal? No, I think we trust Kepler, who hits a single, making bets over to third. Uh, I think I got to go with the sack fly. Fly out. All right, so we didn't get the sack fly. Bring up George Alfaro, who grounds out. Again, leaving a guy on third. That's two runs that we could have had. Unfortunately, it just did not happen. Devers grounds out. Bogarts flies out, and J.D. Martinez gets struck out. David Bott strike out. Jake Bowers grounds out and Tim Lopez lines out. That's his first time getting out in the playoffs. Wilson Catorres hit by the pitch. All right. But he gets thrown out at second after Cody Hose hits him into a fielder's choice. Pick off first. Cody Hose stays. Travis Shaw strike out and Albert Amora Jr. hits into a ground out. George Mateo 0 for 2. This guy's not been hitting that well but is able to hit now. So now we're going to try to steal, and he gets caught stealing. Oh, of course. Jesse Winker grounds out, and Mookie Betts gets walked. Bring up Max Kemper. Opportunity at a home run and give us the lead. No, he's going to get walked. It looks like Lance McCuller Jr. is getting a little tired out there. Bring up Adam Frazier, who gets struck out. Travis Blackman hits a single. Steve Hamilton sacked butt so uh, Blackhorn can reach over to second. Devers gets struck out, and Bogarts grounds out. All right, Alfaro, let's go. Solo home run. one nothing lead. George Alfaro. There it is. Lance McCuller Jr. We got your number, buddy. We got your number. All right. Here it is. Masahiro Tanaka now up. by David Bott, who gets struck out. Jake Bowers hits into a ground out. And Tim Lopez struck out as well. 
JD Martinez hits a single there, okay, and Cortez hits it by a pitch. All right, so that means it's time to change. We're going with Carl Edwards Jr. Cody Hose gets struck out. Travis Shaw gets struck out, and Albert Amora Jr. hits him into a feeler's choice, keeping our lead alive. Matero hits a double. There it is. Steal over to third. There it is. There it is. Jesse Winker hits a double, scoring Mateo, giving us a 2-0 lead. Mookie Betts now up to bat. He hits a single, scoring Jesse Winker, giving us a 3-0 lead. Max Kemper hits a flyout. Adam Frazier struck out, and George Alfaro struck out as well. Okay, boys. I think we're going to stick with Carl. Blackhorn struck out. Hamilton struck out, and Devers hits a single. Uh, pitching change. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's give it. Uh, do we go with Bowman or Molina? Let's go with Bowman. We're going to go with Matt Bowman. He hasn't had a chance. Three. Xavier Bogarts gets struck out. David Bott gets walked. All right. Jake Bowers struck out. Tim Lopez flies out, and Mateo flies out. Mm, here we are. J.D. Martinez strikeout. Wilson Cotorez struck out. And Cody Hose hits into a ground out, bringing the, Mar the Mariners as the American League champions as we will be taking on the Cubs in the World Series. And I just realized something, boys. Don't trade for David Ball off the Blue Jays. He's not on the Blue Jays. He's on the Chicago Clubs. It's my bad. You guys are probably letting me know in the comments right now. But yes, he's on the Cubs. If you guys like him, I would suggest you go out and get him. He's pretty cheap. But anyways, boys, we are now off to the World Series. Oh my God, boys. We are in the World Series. It took us four years to get here, right? Four years. Yeah, we're in 2023. Yep. So four years to get here. Oh my God! And it, it was a journey. Do we have a, we have awards, right? So right now for postseason MVP, David Bott is in the lead, followed by Mookie Betts and Max Kemper. All right. How about over for the national for the national league? It is a battle for Christian Yelich, uh, Willie Calhoun, and Victor Carinani. So when we come back to it, boys, we're going to be in the World Series. Against the Chicago Club uh, Cubs, we are going to be at home for the first games, uh, two games, just like in Boston. Hopefully, we come out victorious. Uh, but anyways, guys, this is going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed everything. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. I love you all, and I hope you all are staying safe. Till next time, guys. See you later.